Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on Halo Eyes again. And this is another uh, homecoming edition, but you can also use it for the fall if you have any special events or if you just want to grits yourself up. Okay everybody, so let's get started. So of course we're going to start off with our eyeshadow base. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and set the eyeshadow base with the vanilla color. That way our eyeshadow lasts all day long. Okay, so next we're going to go in with our transition color. And I'm going to use this color here, which is caramel. That has become my new favorite transition color. Okay, and we're just going to apply this right into our crease area. Now that we have our transition color laid down, we're going to apply our inner and outer V color. And we're going to use, I'm going to use a green today. And you just come into the inner corner and just apply that color. Bring it into the center of the eye. And then go to the outer V. And do the same thing, just bring that color in towards the inner part of the eye. And then just blend that up into the transition color. And then to blend those colors even more, we're going to go in with the clean fluffy brush and just blend that darker color into the transition color so that it's a smooth, flawless transition. No harsh lines. Now, if you want, you can leave your eyes like this, but I'm going to add a little bit more depth. So I'm going to add some black to the outer and inner edges. Okay, now before we continue, I'm going to um, put on my pore minimizer. Okay, so now we're going to go in with a champagne color. And we're going to apply that into the center part of our eyelids. All right, our next step is to go ahead and apply our primer, our face primer. And I like my primer to kind of have a chance to set into my skin. 
so that it could do all its magical goodness. So while that's setting, we're gonna go ahead and add some sparkles to the eye. If I can get it open. Okay, so we're gonna add some gem sparkles. So we're just gonna spray the brush with some setting spray. And just dip that into the sparkles and just apply that to the eyelid. And if you want added uh, comfort or security, you can also use uh, eyelash glue. And you could apply that first to the eyelid, let it dry and get tacky, and then go ahead and apply the sparkles on top of there. If you wanna make sure that your sparkles last throughout the night. They last me all day when I'm at work, um, but in case you just want that added protection, you can definitely add eyelash glue. All right, so there are sparkles added on. All right, so now let's go ahead and put our foundation on. We're not gonna use eyeliner. If you would like to use eyeliner, you can go ahead and apply that, but I'm just gonna keep the look as is. I'm going to go ahead and dot on my custom blend foundation. Okay, and next we're going to go ahead and apply our under eye concealer. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and blend out our under eye concealer. Okay, and we're going to go in and we're going to set that. Make sure you blend out your under eye concealer really well. Because once you set it, it's set. So if you have any patchy areas where you didn't blend, your powder is gonna to stick to that. And then everybody will see <laughs> that you didn't blend out your um, under eye concealer all the way. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set our under eye area with a translucent powder. Okay, and while that's having a chance to set, let's go ahead and do our contour. Okay, and like with all creams and liquids, you wanna set with a powder. Okay, now let's go ahead and set our entire face with our powder. All right, and now we're gonna go in with our blush. And I'm gonna use Vanity.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go underneath the eye and add some more of our eyeshadow base. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that green eyeshadow underneath the eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of Jim Sparkles underneath as well. And now for our eyebrows. Okay, now our setting spray. All right guys, and this completes our look for today. I'm gonna to put my lips on off camera because I'm running late for work. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.